Hi, my name is Bob, and uh, this right here is uh, Jimmy. Bob's kid brother. They say, they we say were, we're born, born joined at the hub. Not literally, of course. But what he's trying to say is that we do everything together. Anything we have. Anything we need. We share it. Right down the middle. 50-50. Well, our parents, parents raised, raised us, us that way. way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so anyway, after mom and daddy died, we continued to run the farm together. I built a little house down on one side of the farm. And I built my house way down on the other side of the field. Uh, anyhow, what he's trying to say is that we did just about everything together. We'd get together for breakfast and lunch just like always. Sure did. One for you. And one for you. We even got married at the same time. Yeah, yeah to, to a, a pair, pair of sisters. sisters. <laughs> Who would have guessed? So it seemed that everything was going great. Yeah, and I became the proud father of three wonderful girls. And little by little, we all lost Jenna. Hey, honey. Sorry I'm late. Ran into Jimmy on my way back from town. Oh, really? How is he? Well, I invited him over for dinner tonight. It's just that I'm so worried about him, Sal. We've seen so little of him, you know, ever since. Ever since Jenna's funeral. I know. So what's for dinner? I thought I'd go out and pick us a few apricots for dessert. You know, when we were uh, boys, Papa used to... <laughs> Papa used to feed us dried apricots just to keep us quiet while he worked. What's wrong? Well, I thought I could make some kind of stew for everybody, but there's barely enough here to feed one of us. Hey. Hey. Don't worry. Look. We got this. We can use the rest of the flour, make pancakes for the girls. Good. You know they like pancakes. So you can go ahead and make that stew. I gotcha. And I can use this last bit of rice to thicken the soup up a bit. We'll, uh... We'll just give Jimmy my share. No. We'll give him my share, too. I'll just go to bed early with the girls. No, you don't have to do that. Don't worry. We've got this. Oh no, you're gonna miss out on some pretty mean stew. <laughs> I hear it's pretty good. <laughs> wow. These apricots are amazing. You sure you don't want one? <laughs> you act like you never had them before. Well, I've been selling mine lately. All of them? Pretty much. Whew! Some stew, eh? Yeah, it was amazing. Adding rice like that was a nice touch. I have to thank Sal for me. Sure thing. I hate she and the girls went to bed already. I was kind of hoping to run around a bit with my crazy little nieces. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't keep them up. Uh... Girls are leaving for their grandma in the morning. It's just a short visit. It's their mom's birthday tomorrow. For what? 
Oh, I have to send her my congratulations then. I'll tell Sal to send your love. This is, this is delicious. I am stuffed. Let me get your dishes. You stay there. I'll tell you what, why don't I wash up everything later? I'll go for a walk outside, but the air out there is nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was when I came. Bob, can I ask you a question? Sure thing. Why'd you keep it so dark in here tonight? <laughs> well, you don't like the ambiance? Hey, I don't need ambiance to share a meal with my brother. Well, you know, I uh, just wanted dinner to be a treat. We don't uh, see you so often these days. And I mean, ever. Don't worry, Bob. I'm fine. Really. <laughs>